So the problem here tells you that there's 0.75 grams of dissolved gases in a liter sample of water. You're going to use Henry's law to determine the amount of gas that remains dissolved in the sample of water if the pressure drops from 1.00 atm to 0.85. So S1, P1, this is our solubility of the original sample along with the pressure of the original sample. So it looks like the original sample contained 0.75 grams. So let's put that up here in this top left spot. 0.75 grams of dissolved gases. And that number is associated with a pressure of 1.0. It says it dropped from 1.0 to 0.85. So it must have been starting at 1.0. So that value goes here. And it drops to 0.85. So this goes in our P2 spot. 0.85 goes there. And then we're looking to see how much gas would remain dissolved. We're looking for x. So you cross multiply, do your, uh, do your math, and when you solve for x, which is really the solubility of the, the new changed solution, you're going to realize that there's 0.64 grams dissolved uh, when the pressure has dropped. So it went from 0.75 down to 0.7, or 0.64. Remember, less pressure means less gas dissolved. Higher pressure, which is why soda bottles have a lot of pressure on, on the top of the, the soda, higher pressure means more dissolved gases. But as soon as you open that and you reduce the pressure, then the gas comes out. Less gas is dissolved.